With us once again is one of my favorite chefs. It's Dennis from Mateo's. Hello. Hello. Happy to be here again. Thank you so much. One of my favorite talk show hosts. I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you for taking very good care of my crew and our special guests today. We had some VIPs coming in and I called you and I said, Dennis, I know that your restaurant's like not open on a Monday afternoon. Could you help me? And you said? Always a pleasure. So what did you bring today for our uh, We brought our, one of our fan favorites, uh, Shrimp Ultima, okay. um, which is cherry peppers, lemon butter, wine, and melted mozzarella cheese over some Francais shrimp. It's, it's uh, very, fa very favorite in the restaurant. Um, we have some eggplant parm, traditional old style, not breaded, a little egg batter and, and lightly fried. Um, pasta primavera, mm. we brought some of our uh, signature chopped salad and chicken marsala. Lovely. Try to, try to switch it up a little bit for you guys always. Well, I did tell you Joe is a vegetarian and over all the years that we've been working together, I'd always be like, please remember that I have a vegetarian on our crew or whatever. And uh, But you've gotten it right every time, so thank you for that. And I learned so. today that there's a gluten-free on the crew, which next oh, time I will, okay, I said, them no a little worry, next time uh. I, I got you. We'll bring in a gluten-free <laughs> Dish as well. So here we are, we're recording this um, in April. And so what are some spring items that you dress up your menu with? Because I know you change things up a little bit seasonally. Yeah, we always try to change up our burratas. Uh, we always try to change up some salads. Um, we're doing a nice spring salad now with shaved Brussels sprouts, arugula, strawberries, feta cheese, candied walnuts. Um, really good, fresh. Every time you take a bite with the strawberries, it's, it's a nice salad. Um, and then I love to work off my specials as well because everyone likes our signature dishes, but then they also like to see, well, what's Chef creating for us this week? And um, I like to use a lot of local, especially now in spring and summer. We have a lot of great farms out on Long Island, so you like to lose a lot of local vegetables, and, and I like to change with the, with the seasons as well. So I tried to make your Brussels sprouts for my home for Easter, and I don't know how I did, but it tasted pretty good. So what I did, Dennis, is I um, took... Uh, foil, nonstick foil, and I put it on the pan, right? And I put some really nice olive oil just on the Brussels sprouts. Um, and then I put some salt and pepper, and then I put a little coconut amino. And it worked. Okay. I mean, it, ta it gave it like a little caramelized texture. And I even said to myself, I was like, I think Chef Dennis would be proud of me because at least I gave it a try, right? It sounds good, absolutely. So in yeah. the kitchen, sometimes it's about experimenting a little bit. 100%, you know? You like, sometimes you look at and see what other people are doing, what's trending, um, and you like to play with stuff on your own. And sometimes I do it even in my house, not even at the restaurant, but I like to try new things. I like to try new items. Um, What's really popular now, we're making uh, the spicy rigatoni with Calabrian chili paste, mm. um, which gives it like it's a tomato cream sauce with a little bit of a, of a bite, but it's a, it's a nice, um, it's not a spicy bite. It's, a, it's got a little bit of a tingle when you eat it, but it's delicious, um, which is doing very well, you know, and, and, you know, you like to keep moving with the times, you know, you can't stay... Oh, you know, complacent. You want to, you want to move fresh. Move, yes. Move fresh. Yes. Um, for new brides and new grooms out there, or uh, people that are just going away to college, right? Um, what is one simple dish that you think somebody could start? Like, what could somebody make that's simple? Maybe only five ingredients. What do you think if somebody's starting out and they're intimidated to cook? Intimidated to cook. Well, you know. They're really like a chicken marsala, for instance, that we brought today is, is pretty simple. Okay. Um, you can go to the butcher and get it pounded, so you don't have to worry about that. Nice and thin if you like. Dredge it with flour, fry it in a little oil, you saute in a little oil, fresh mushrooms. You want to get some nice sweet marsala sauce, reduce that down a little bit. Um, so that's an easy dish. It really doesn't okay. have many, many ingredients to it. Um, you can thicken it. Some people like to use a little, you know, just a touch of butter uh, dredged in flour, and then you reduce that sauce, and boom, you have a nice, you know, salt and pepper, you have a nice marsala dish. It's all about the, the sweet wine that you use, you know, in it as well. But, you know, um, like you said, you know, you want to learn, you want to try for new items, and I think young brides and college kids, they should just try. Okay. You know, and if you love to eat, it all comes natural to you. And if not, and and it doesn't work out, you just make reservations. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where, that's where we come in. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us once again. And um, now I get a chance to, uh, you know, we're going to take a little break with the crew, and now I get to eat. So awesome. that's my favorite part of shoot days, actually, <laughs> uh, when our crew gets to break bread together. So from our family to your family, we hope you've been enjoying uh, what the segments that we've been bringing you, and uh, we'd love to hear your recipe. You've got a favorite 
cherished dish that you've been making for generations from your family and that got passed down or something new that you just put together in the kitchen, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching.